All right, everyone, here we are at um, Topic 5, Chapter Revision, looking at Extended Response Question 8. Now, I have set up part of the answer already because um, uh, we're feeling about with a bit of what to do with the scale of each axis. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. So, uh, question 8. Let the cost of item A be X equal to X. So, item A, I'm just going to fix that up a bit. It's going to go red is better. A, item A, the cost of item A equals X. And the cost of item B equals Y. The cost of both items is dollar eighty. Write an equation using cents, not dollars, cents, not dollars. Describe this information. The cost of both items. Okay, well, for equation for that one, part A, up here. The equation for this one, cost of both items. Well, that would be x plus y equals cents, not dollars, 180. There we go, that one. Um, then part B, it says 1 of item A, so that's X, and 2 item B's, so 2Y, equals uh, 2 cents, not dollars, $2.75, that's 275 cents. Uh, yep, that's the equation of that one. So. Equation 1, equation 2, I'm just going to redo that and that because that one's going to be in the way. So equation 1, equation 2, now what? Draw a graph of the two equations on the same number plane, there we are, there it is. Use x as horizontal, so down here. All these values are our x, and over up here is the y values. Okay, so we're going to do a bit of um, finding a table of values. So, since x plus y equals 180, what if x equals 0? It's unlikely, but whatever it is, x equals 0, then y has got to be 180. And where is that point? I'm going to put that up here. X is 0, Y is 180. That's there. And what about if Y is 0? What is X equal? X has got to be 180. So if Y is 0, X has got to be 180. That's there. Yep, and we can just join the two. That's it. That's all you need. Two points. There we are. A little bit off. There we are. That's our line. We've graphed the one of them. Okay, the other one. X plus two Y equals two seventy five. Okay. Let's get back to here. If um, x is 0, then y is going to be 275. Where is that? x is 0, y is 275 up here, so that would be almost up to there. And then If y is 0, x is 275. So, no, I just made a mistake. I just realised. Okay, let's go back. I'm sure we can... There we are. Because it's 2y. Okay. So when x is 0, y is not 275. It's 2y is 275. So that's 
137 and a half. Because you've got to be two of those. Here's 275. There, better. 137 and a half, which is there. That's when x is zero. And I imagine if y is zero, then x is 137 and a half. And where's that? Y is zero, x 137 and a half. No, 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 no. Mistake again. If y is zero, the next is 275. That's better. Yes. That little x plus 2y thing cause a havoc. So when it, y is zero, x is 275. Yes, that's better. 275, that's up there. And not there. y is zero, okay. Uh, yep, I've just made another mistake. It's going to be all over the place. Let's go. When y is 0, x is 275. So we've already got the one for when x is 0. When y is 0, x is 275. There we are. We made it. And let's join those two points. Yeah, where we're heading over to there. There it is. Done. There's the graph of the two. Let's go back to normal bit here. Part D. Use the intersection of the two graphs to find the cost in sense of item A. Well, I imagine where these two lines cross is what the two items actually cost. So item A is equal to X. So where they cross there, looks like it's about, not quite 80. When it is between, over 80, 80, not quite 90. Let me just do a little downward. From there, down to there. It's not just about eighty five. Item A is eighty five. If item A is eighty five, then then Y is ninety five. That makes sense. And here eighty five plus It's 190, yeah, 95. Yep, makes sense. Very good. Thanks, everyone.